Hello everyone, welcome to in hello everyone, welcome to Window Reflection Swear today. We are going to be taking a look at Godzilla from Godzilla Tokyo SOS from NECA the Hyper Mazer Kiryu Kiryu Hyper Mazer Blast version, I think is what it's called. Target exclusive. Um Yeah, so Kind of late to the game on this figure, too. I only got this figure for Christmas. Um, same thing with uh, Kong. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... I do not own the normal version. But, yeah. Um, so, da -da -da. yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but yeah, here's the packaging. So my box is kind of dinged up, which sucks. I'm assuming that uh, it was shipped. Um, but, you know. Uh, so here's the box. Really nice art. Um, I... Yeah, I'm... I'm I, I've seen the box for the normal version, and I think that I prefer that box. Because um, it's, uh, it's the poster, right? But, yeah, I mean, this looks cool, too. You can see uh, Kiryu down here with his messed up eye. Um, this is actually my favorite version of Mechagodzilla. I, I haven't actually seen Tokyo SOS or Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, but this is just... Kiryu is my favorite design for Mechagodzilla. Um, and you got, of course, Mothra up here, and then uh, Godzilla right here, and then a couple explosions, of course, um... Uh, yeah, Godzilla, uh, Mosra, Mecha God, Me Mecha uh, I don't know why I said it like that. Godzilla, Mosra, Mecha Godzilla, uh, Tokyo SOS, of course, that says. Um, and it, even in the SOS, you got the uh, Mothra, Shobujin, Shobujin symbol. Of course, you got Godzilla, Tokyo SOS, Godzilla um, on the side, Godzilla, Tokyo SOS. Uh, 65 years of Godzilla, now 66 years. Um, you got a little Shin Gojira right there, um, which is always nice. My favorite Godzilla. Uh, same thing on the other side. Um, on the top, you got uh, some electricity uh, sparkle spedazzle. Um, NECA, uh, Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Uh, warning uh, for choking hazard. Not really on this figure, but yeah. Age 14 and up, that is me. Uh, actually, um, on the ba back, Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Some nice promo images of the figure, uh, surrounded by boxes of electric, uh, electric bedazzle, sparkle. <laughs> and then you got a little blurb down here, sort of, um, little blurb, uh, sort of, uh, explaining... The film, which I'll go ahead and read, Godzilla awakens at the bottom of the sea, one year after surviving a vicious battle against Mechagodzilla, now bearing an enormous scar from the battle. Godzilla takes makes landfall again. <laughs> As Mechagodzilla is prepared to defend Japan once more, Mothra and the Shobujin appear and offer a vital clue to the reason why Godzilla continues to attack. Now the government must make a crucial decision. Should the Shobujin's order follow the Shobujin's orders, or battle both Mothra and Godzilla? Oh. Toho logo down here, Godzilla, uh, Toho. And then on the bottom, of course, you have the uh, the, uh, the barcode, which, um, uh, again, this is Target ex the Target exclusive figure. So, yeah, go ahead and scan that into your local Target. And see if it's there, and then uh, on the inside of the uh, so yeah I, again my my box is a little bit thinked up you can really see it here it's like all uh, crooked and bent out of shape and yeah that kind of sucks um, but yeah on the inside of course you get a, another uh, lovely image of the figure and then you get a nice image of um, Tokyo Tower right there which I'm assuming is uh, where a battle takes place in takes place at in Tokyo SOS, um, 
And that, that that's actually pretty cool because you know Mothra is in this movie, so um, yeah, and uh, of course in the original Mothra film, um, her uh, official debut, uh, she was she uh, she cocooned herself on the Tokyo Tower, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm pretty sure that Tokyo SOS and Godzilla against Mechagodzilla are is actually a sequel to. Um, Mothra from 1961, which I actually own that movie now, so um, I still have yet to watch it, but um, I do own that movie now on Blu-ray. So here's the figure, um, finally getting into it. So yeah, it is a, uh, again, I don't own the normal figure, so um, this is uh, my only uh, Tokyo SOS Godzilla Um but yeah, uh, this is, uh, again, the Target exclusive one. Um, I, I, I'm, uh, I, I guess I'll get into paint first, since that's sort of like the main thing different about this figure. Um, yeah, of course, you have the yellow uh, sparkle on him, uh, the yellow spadaz that's um, going all around his body. You can see, you know, the, uh, the electric uh cracks going around him and everything like that and um they even painted it in a way which is i love this figure because it like the paint looks like lighting like if you just have it like from here you can see like it almost looks like you know there is like a light here and you know i don't own a kiryu figure because obviously NECA isn't going to be making one um, and, uh, I don't own any of the SH Monster Arts Kiryus. I know there are, uh, I know, I know that there are a few, uh, different Kiryus by them. But yeah, I don't own any, so, um, I just kind of use this as a way to sort of fake, uh, my NECA King Kong, uh, into sort of having those, uh, those, uh, electricity Frankenstein powers, um, that he had in King Kong vs. Godzilla. So, yeah, that's that's uh, that's how I use it. But, of course, you can see, also, he's, uh, his spines are starting to glow up, or only a couple of them. You can see down here, there's some blue, and they're starting to light up. And uh, it, it seems... It's, the, the way it looks is weird. Again, I haven't seen Tokyo SOS or those movies, so I don't know exactly. I'm assuming that this is the look of the way he charges up. Um, but yeah, you can see, like, his main spine and these secondary spines down here are all glowing blue, but then he's sort of, like, glowing up down here, so, you know, I'm assuming that it kind of goes like that. And then he fires the, uh, the atomic breath. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks that he doesn't come with an atomic breath piece. I mean, I don't know if he uses it, because, again, I haven't seen this. I know that this is supposed to be Kiryu's, like, Mazer Blast. Um, like, going off on him, but yeah, um, but again, the, this figure is, like, really good at lighting, you can see the yellow is a little bit too much on the bottom jaw, um, but, you know, um, I, I won't be able to show you this on camera, but there's a lot of, like, purple, um, it's very, it's, it's pretty subtle, but there's a lot of, like, purple on this, that's like, you, you can even see, there's, um, some of that yellow as well, even on the tail, um, on the bottom of the tail there, which is pretty cool. But yeah, um, you, actually, you can kind of see it on the claws, toe claws, right there, you can see it, there's a little bit of purple right there, but it's very abundant on, like, the leg. Um, you, you can, you can kind of get a sense of it. it, it's there, like, you can definitely see it in person. But it's it's kind of hard to see um, on camera. You, you can definitely see it on the, his fingernails right here. If I can get it. Yeah, you can definitely see the purple right there. It's very abundant there. But yeah, um, you can see there's like lots of different shades. You know, you just got like white there, and you can see a scar right here. Um, this is a scar um, from a Kiryu. Um, you can see. His eyes were very, um, kind of a dog-like. I don't know, someone's dropped him there. 
See that? It's eyes. Nice yellow with a big black pupil. Um, you can see his teeth are all individually painted. So that looks very nice. Let's see. And uh, the inside of the mouth and his tongue and everything is painted in a sort of like purplish pink color. It's nice. I already specified the blue, but you, you can even see they they uh, they they made it look sort of like it is glowing. Um, like this is, you know, it's nighttime and it's, you know, like this stuff is illuminating everything around them. So, uh, they even painted a little bit of blue onto this dorsal fin. You can kind of see it like on the edge, there's a little bit of blue. So it's sort of like this is illuminating that spine a little bit. Um, and they also did uh, a similar thing, kind of. It's very subtle. It's, it's very subtle, but, you know, you can even see it kind of like on this spine right here there's a, a little bit of blue sort of going on to it and you can definitely see it right here on uh, this spine right here there's a little bit of blue going off of it because this spine is glowing so yeah that's really cool it's really cool um yeah the the paint on this figure is really nice though i would like to get the normal figure now um i didn't really want to get it um because I wasn't really interested in it, but I kind of want to get it now just because, you know, uh, I've got this figure. I might as well get the other one, but yeah, I'm not very interested in the Biolante Bile uh, Godzilla 89 from them, though. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cool, but, you know, it's uh, it's just whatever. I, I much prefer this figure, you know, like, you know, his spines are glowing up and there's really nice, like, almost lighting, like they mapped out how it would look in lighting and everything like that. Like you can even see the, the bottom of his hands are like just straight up yellow. So, you know, it kind of gives the effect that, you know, there's, uh, you know, the, the light is coming from his, his center of his chest and everything like that. Like it just all looks very good. Um, but yeah, and you can also see as well, um, I forgot to mention there's a white as well on uh, his uh, non-glowing dorsal spines. Um, you can see there all the way down uh, the tail. It's all it's all uh, painted um, with that uh, white. It's very nice. But yeah, so I think that that's going to do it for paint. Um, again, very nice. I really like it. Um, detail, I suppose. So detail is, uh, again, very nice on this figure. Um, it's pretty much on the same level as, uh, NECA's 89 figure. Um, it's very good. You can see it's very well detailed, um, a lot more detailed than, you know, say, um, say, uh, their 54 Godzilla, their 2014 uh, Godzilla, you know, it's a lot. They, 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 you can definitely see, um how much they grew as far as like you know paint quality and uh you know s sizing like this tail is huge like, it's so long um compared to like you know 54's tail like that thing is so small <laughs> and then you got this like it's bigger than the figure is so good it's so well done um but yeah like you know again paint is really nice like everything that should be painted is painted like all the fingernails are painted all, all of the teeth are individually painted like all the spines all the way down the uh the tail are all painted like you know everything's painted it's very nice um oh i forgot to mention or well i, I should mention now i didn't forget about it uh, there is uh holes in the bottom of his feet so that you know if you uh, have him in a dynamic post it's kind of hard to get him into a uh, super dynamic pose where he won't be able to stand but stand. um but yeah so, yeah detail again is very nice like all the way down the tail you can see that a uh, tree bark skin texture it's very nice see it uh you can see uh, he's got his big feet it's always nice to see um and his teeth are very well sculpted as well. They're not like super sharp or anything. You can see like they're very nicely done. Like the the face in general is very nice. You can see his ears as well. So 
his ears. But yeah, uh, detail is very nice, and you can see his neck as well. Um, his spines are very well detailed. They're very, um, you know, they're, they're rubbery. They're all rubbery. Um, and his neck as well is very rubbery. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, detailing is very good. I mean, you're going to be paying, like, good 20, 20, 30 bucks on average um, for this guy. Um, again, you should probably get him now because... Uh, God, NECA has lost the Godzilla license, so they're not going to be making any more um, figures he from here on out. As far as we know, you know, they they could get the license back um, in the future, but you know, it's just safe. I would just call it safe and say that they're never going to make any more again. So you know, the the prices on previous NECA Godzilla figures have already started to uh, increase. Um, already, so, you know, you should probably move fast if you want to get uh, any Mecha Godzilla figures. Kong is fine. Kong, you, you can get Kong for uh, retail price, but, yeah, you can probably still get this guy for a retail price as well. Same thing with um, uh, Biolante Bio Godzilla, because these are Target um, exclusives, so, you know, they, they made sure to make a good quantity, a uh, good large quantity of them. But, yeah, um, very nice as far as date, uh, detail, and paint goes. So, articulation, uh, mouth can close, of course, and then open. And it actually doesn't look weird with it closed um, or opened. It actually looks good. Um, can't say that about the uh, 89 figure from them. Uh, if you close the mouth, it looks weird, but on this figure, it looks very nice. So, um, the head can look... Kind of down, kind of up, can't really move that much. Um, actually, you know, a good side to side, and I can swivel. But yeah, uh, it's kind of hindered by the neck, which is uh, its own separate joint. So the, the neck is very weird on this figure. I think that everybody knows about that. Um, you can swivel it, kind of. You can get it, again, it's very rubbery. Um, you can get it to swivel all the way around. Um, can't really move it, like, forward or side to side, really. Um, it's just kind of a swivel. But yeah, you can't really move it really at all. So, that kind of sucks. But yeah, it's fine. Um, arms can go... Up there, the arms are actually on a, a ball joint, so, um, you know, they, they can go up um, and down and everything like that, but they can also, like, go forward as well. I mean, it's, it can't really, you can see it, like, it's, there's kind of like a bu butterfly look going on there, you know, you can get it to move forward, it's on a ball joint. Um, but yeah, you can also, go, of course, get it to go full 360, you can get a full 360 uh, spin. The elbows are jointed, so they can go, you know, up and down. Not not very far again. Um, but yeah, and then, of course, they can swivel. And then the uh, hands can go up and down. And then swivel all the way around. And then the fingers are also articulated, so they can go um, in and out. So you can get them, like... Uh, clo with closed hands, which is pretty cool. Then the waist is on a uh, ball joint, so you can get it to go all the way around, which is nice. Um, and then forward pretty far, then back, of course, and then kind of side to side a little bit, not really. Um, the legs can kind of pivot outward. It's very hard. That's about as far as they'll go for me. And then inward, uh, fairly far. And then, of course, they can go forward. Okay. This leg is a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. They can go forward and backward, kind of. The knees are very stiff. But, yeah, that's about as far back as that'll go. And then they can go forward pretty far. Let's see. And then, of course, there is a swivel right there. Oh. <sighs> Then go full 360 
if you need it to. And then the feet are on a ball joint, but it's actually a very maneuverable ball joint. Um, it's not very stiff like uh, most other Godzilla figures from NECA. Like, it's actually, you know, you can move it pretty easily, which isn't always nice. Go forward, upward, and down, uh, and then side to side, and then, of course, you can swivel it, which is nice. And then the tail um, is, again, fantastic. So it can go down pretty far. It's a lot of ball joints, so tail came off. But yeah, um, you get to go pretty far. Oh. Yeah, yeah uh, this tail likes to pop off in a few different places. It's the first time that I've ever uh, had a Mechagodzilla figure that did that. <laughs> Normally that's the problem with SH Monster Arts, but yeah. Um, so yeah, you can get to wrap around really nicely. And then, of course, go up very nicely, like so, um, which is nice, side to side, do side, get a nice, uh, S-curve, or do you, like, look at, that is so nice, um, but yeah, and then, of course, every ball joint here can swivel, um, well, you know what, might as well count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 points, which isn't, doesn't sound like a lot, but it is, um, quite a bit, and to add even more excess to it, the last joint here is actually a bendy wire, um, sort of, paying homage, I feel, to their first Godzilla figure, so yeah, you can get it to bend, and it will hold its position, position again, because it is a bendy wire, so yeah, you can get to do that and everything, and then there's a ball joint as well, so that's nice, see, like, th that's how you should do Godzilla tails, like, you know, it should be a ton of ball joints, and then at the last point, you can make it a little, a little bendy wire. You know, the whole entire majority of the tail shouldn't be a bendy wire, because it's going to break. <laughs> it's going to be real bad, but yeah. Um, very nice tail. Uh, this is probably the better tail compared to NECA's 89, but yeah. Um, so, there's articulation for you. So, comparisons <clears throat> here... He, it, here is NECA's Godzilla 2003, compared next to SH Monster Arts' Godzilla from 1954. There you go. Uh, obviously, this one's quite a bit bigger. Um, I think that they're actually about the same size um, in uh, continuity, but yeah. And then here is uh, Godzilla 8 from 2003, compared next to... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's 2003. I'm, I'm right. Compared next to King Kong, uh, also by by NECA. So yeah, there you go. King Kong is, again, a little too big, but it's fine. So yeah. So um, that was the figure. Uh, I really like this figure. I think it's a, it's it's really good. Um, as NECA's last Godzilla figure, I feel like it's a little bit odd, you know? Um, I mean, it's definitely a step up from stuff that they had been making. Like, it's, it really sucks, because they had finally gotten to a stage where it was like, this is, like, some good quality, you know? You really get bang for your buck on this. Like, um, you know, like, this is... <clears throat> nearly as good as SH Monster Arts quality, um, you know, for less than half the price, way less than half the price. This is like a quarter of the price of an SH Monster Arts Godzilla, um, and it's almost as good of quality as that, um, you know, paint-wise and everything like that. Obviously, there's a lot more articulation um, on those figures, 
Um, but, you know, I mean, you know, it's, you know, at a certain point, you know, it becomes a little bit excessive, you know, um, especially if, you know, those articulation joints are loose um, or, if, or anything like that. And it, that also comes at the cost of, you know, it's a lot more flimsy because of how much articulation um, is in it. The, uh, the plastic has to be a lot more thinner to accommodate that much articulation. Um, NECA did a very good job um, at making, like, these things are thick. <laughs> like, these are, this is, like, very good quality of plastic. Like, it's very hard, you know, like, you're not gonna break this, you know. Like, if you throw this off a building, it might break a little bit, but, you know, like, it's gonna stay mostly intact. If you throw, like, you know, the, the, the SH Monster Shin Godzilla off a roof, that thing's gonna shatter, <laughs> you know. But, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm really gonna miss NECA Godzilla stuff. This is probably gonna be my last NECA Godzilla figure I'm gonna review. Ever. I mean, I mean, I, I shouldn't, you know, say stuff uh, without making sure. I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, I mean, it probably won't. You know, I'll, I'll probably get more figures down the line. I still don't have, like, you know, the King Kong, uh, Godzilla, um, I still don't have that figure, I still don't have their, uh, their 64, um, you know, I said, I still don't have either of their shins, I mean, I don't really want those, but, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, I might, might get the normal version of this, but I don't really see the point in reviewing that figure, uh, especially considering, you know, I've already got, I, I've already re reviewed the, the more special version of it, you know, and just, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, uh, to, uh, to quote Michael Scott, sometimes I just, I just start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going, um, but, yeah, that was terrible, <laughs> but yeah, um, goodbye, and that guy, and goodbye uh, 2020 <laughs> I mean we're already in 2021 now it's been three days um, three days uh, three days uh, you know the Spongebob guy <laughs> uh, the, this review has gone on for too long uh, thank you guys so much for watching leave a like subscribe, post notifications all that other stuff um Leave a comment down below letting me know uh, what you think about Godzilla from NECA. Um, are you sad that NECA isn't going to be making Godzilla figures anymore? Um, stuff like that. You, know, you can just leave that down below. Nobody comments on my videos anyways. So, yeah. Uh, there's literally no point in me saying anything right now. Nobody's watching this. No, nobody's watching this. <laughs> it's whatever. Um... So yeah, uh, I'll, see, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yikes.